there by offensive nicknames. This is our teaching. Don't call people by offensive nicknames. I and lady maybe it's an honor. You say, look, you know, she is tough and strong. You know, she can do more than a dozen men's job. She is great. She takes it as a compliment. Torture, is that a compliment? We know it's not. It's distorting thatcher to torture. Allah says in the Holy Quran, where in Surah Hujurat, where do you find Hujurat? In the book, in the Quran. How do you find Hujurat? I said, look, you, if you have this book, you must have it. You live in this country without this book? I don't know how to, what, I, what I can tell you. This book here by Abdullah Yusuf Ali, this translation, at the back of it has a, a very comprehensive index. Somebody gives you reference, Hujurat, and the H look for Hujurat. It will tell you chapter 49. 49 is easy to find because every page is numbered. Every page is numbered. Once you find 49, I say ayah number, verse number 11, easy to find. So you read the Wala Tana Bazu Bil Al Qab. And do not give, do not call people by offensive nicknames. Teaching you. Or another place under slander. Don't slander. Give you references. Don't backbite. Gives you references. What do you want to know? Anything you want to know, everything here is on your fingertips. And this is your privilege to have this for five pounds. Almost 2,000 pages for five pounds. There are fools who are paying 15 pounds for 547 pages. This satanic Salmans, satanic verses, 547 pages. Thick, these are thick pages, cheap pages, cheap paper. They are out to mint money. The cover is beautiful. The cover as you see is very beautiful. It is beautiful. You know, I mean the coloring, the, the production is good. There is only a paper, piece of paper. This is hard cover, solid, gold written. This is paper, but however, it looks very nice. 547 pages of filth, rubbish, for 15 pounds. This 2000 pages, 5 pounds. 2000. This is Fletcher, Bible paper. But most of you, I, don't, I know you haven't got it. You haven't got this book. You have to arm yourself. They are available outside. We made it easy for you. Don't go start hunting for this book. You won't find it at foils. If foils had it, they'll charge you 50 pounds. Make it impossible for you to buy. Five pounds outside here is highly subsidized. Get it. For yourself, for your neighbor, for your employer, as a wedding present, as a birthday present, there's no better gift you can give to your family, friends, and even to your employers, even the non-Muslim. Five pounds, five pounds, five pounds. Take them, one at a time, two, four, five, ten, take them. Keep them. Maybe you might not be able to repeat this. Five pounds for two thousand pages. This is fifteen pounds for five hundred and forty-seven pages. This is filth and rubbish. So Allah says, don't defame people. Don't call people by offensive nicknames. What about bitch? Calling a person a bitch? You call, you, you besmirch the name of a fair lady in these terms, that she is a zania, bitch is a zania. Other words, you know, softer words, they call them tat, they call them call girls, call them hookers, whore, harlot. This guy, he calls her a bitch. In the house of Islam, anybody making such a, an attack upon anybody's personality, he must produce four witnesses. So it says a bitch, produce four witnesses, eyewitnesses. And after having given their evidence, if under cross-examination, if one of them fails, only one out of four, one fails, everybody gets 80 lashes. Everybody gets 80 lashes each. If one guy fails in cross-examination, this proof falls, everybody gets 80 lashes. You call us barbaric. Tell you, this is barbaric. We want to protect your mothers, your sisters, your wives and your daughters from, from any kind of besmirching of their character. And you call us barbaric. We are barbaric. You are civilized. 
anybody, everybody's mother, sister, daughter, wife, you can call them bitches, whores, harlots, what else? <laughs> Hookers, tats. What else? What is this? What have you come to? You civilized people, cultured people. Eighty lashes each. He does not even leave our our queen, her majesty, the defender of faith. She is the defender of faith. Our queen, my queen, as a British subject. Ah, my queen. He has sex with her. Listen, listen to this spicy piece. This we should read to the British. Look, this is what he says. He doesn't even spare our queen. Chamcha. I'm quoting, direct quotation. Chamcha, that's him. If you read the whole book, then you know, there are, he plays different roles. Like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. He goes as uh, Jibril Farishta, that's him. Chamcha is him. But in both cases, he's like Mr. Hyde. You saw Dr. Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, he's Hyde, Hyde all the time. But he makes people to say words. Chamcha. He makes one of his characters say. Chamcha. He found himself dreaming of the queen. Of making tender love to the monarch. She was the body of Britain. Who? The queen. She was the body of Britain. The avatar of the state. She is the avatar, the spirit of the state. And he had chosen her. Joined with her. He joined with her. In holy matrimony? In what? In what? He joined with her. She was his beloved. The moon of his delight. Page 169. What is he saying? He joined with her. You yeah. might find some of these clever Alex, you know, who come along and say, Look man, uh, you know, you are exaggerating. You don't know what you are talking about. Join could mean in, in prayer. They will all pray together. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I said, please, please, please. You see, every book is its own best commentary. Every book. If you ask any Christian, he will tell you that the Bible is its own best commentary. I will say the Quran is its own best commentary. And by extension, the satanic verses is his own best commentary. You know, the book itself, if it can reveal the secret to you, you don't have to look for it outside. The meaning, you don't look for it outside. Let's see how he uses his word joined in another place to tell you what he means. In case you misunderstood, you so dense. Or such a pervert, you know, you want to exonerate anything he says because you are, he is your God. Whatever he says, you say, no, I support him. So if you want to support him, now listen now. He says, I'm quoting, direct quote, page 479. Wild donkeys, wild donkeys, fucking wearily and dropping dead, still conjoined. Joined, conjoined. What did he say? What did he do to the queen? What did he do to our, our queen? You take it? You accept it? You are not inferior, you, you don't feel hurt? There's something wrong with you. If you live in a country, you must be loyal to that country. Otherwise, get out. If a country is worth living in, it is worth dying for. Otherwise, get out. You have to be loyal to your rulers. This guy here, what he does to our queen, and you don't feel enraged. There's something wrong with you. There's something wrong with the British. Tell him so. There's something wrong with you, boss. I think, what, is, what has happened to you? Cry with him. Cry for him. Cry. Make him to cry. Cry with him. Don't cry about yourself. Cry for him. What this guy has done to him. His benefactor, his godfathers and his godmothers. What he's doing to them. They are now reading this book in public. This is an obsession. Marianne Wiggins, his second wife, American. I had read her statement before she ran away also. She also had enough of this guy. First he, what would he did to, uh, uh, if I have the chance I'll tell you what he says about doing to white women. What he did to first one and he did to the second one. But Marianne Wiggins, she said, if I was free, if I was not his wife, I would have read it all over Britain, place to place. 
At the present moment there is a woman called Susan Sontag. 